Hello viewers, in this video, we are going to be um, building, we are going to be creating um, a BigQuery data set with Terraform. So infrastructure as a code is a concept and approach to managing GCP resources using code. The term infrastructure here means all GCP resources such as BigQuery data set. GCS bucket, IAM, big table, and other resources. So in this project, we are going to be following this five step in building um, a BigQuery data set using Terraform. So first of all, we are going to be downloading Terraform to Cloud Shell. Next, we are going to be configuring the Terraform backend to a GC bucket. We'll use um variables in Terraform and we'll run the script using Cloud Shell and then configure a big query data set using Terraform. So let's get started by opening the Cloud Shell environment to download um, Terraform. So first of all, we'll go to our, our GCP console and um, open Open, um, let's open our bucket because you're going to be using big um, bu um, bucket, GCS bucket. So I've already created a bucket for, for this project. But if you are, if you are new and you want to create a project, I mean a bucket, you can click create bucket and um, fill up um, this one. And you know that the name must be globally unique. So you must give it a unique name, add numbers, add names, just to make it globally unique. Every other thing remains the same. Then you can create those buckets. So, and we'll be, we'll be needing a project to, for me, I'll be using those um, Kingsley GCP data Eng project for this project. So first of all, let's go to our cloud shell. So I need to activate my cloud shell. So um, this is my cloud shell. So now we need to install Terraform on our cloud shell. So first of all, go to the script with the script um the tst copy this widget and and go back to your shell and paste it and go back um to unzip it so to unzip it you copy this unzip terraform Linux to unzip the file. So we'll go back to um, our script and um, we'll now move the Terraform file to the USR local bin part so that we can call the file an application so we can call it from anywhere on our system. So we copy this sudo move. So copy paste it and um, we've moved the file to our local bin. So let's move to the next step. So the next step, we check um, the Terraform version. So let's check our Terraform version and type Terraform. So the version is on Terraform V1.008 on Linux. So the next step is to create a backend, a backend file for our Terraform. So go to 
So open our cloud editor environment and create a new folder called Terraform Palmaris for this project. So let's go and create this folder on our cloud editor. For you to open your cloud editor, click this open editor. It will take a few seconds to open the cloud editor, so be patient a little. So this is my editor. So for me, I will create a new folder, new folder, and we'll name it Terraform Palmaris. Click OK. In this new folder, we'll create um a file called um backend we'll create a file called backend.tf so click so click here and we'll create this file called backend.tf so under the backend.tf file we'll go to um We'll copy paste um, this Terraform code. And paste it. So for me, my bucket name is Terraform BigQuery Project Kingsley 2023. So you will change this bucket name to your own bucket name. So what this, um, Project, what this code actually does is to, um, in this case, is to specify the folder where the configuration file will be stored on our GCS buckets. The script will set up Terraform to use the folder to store our configuration file. So in this project, as I said earlier, we're going to be using variables in this. So we'll copy this, um, We'll create another folder, another file called main.tf. So let's create the file first of all. And we'll create it under our folder, Terraform Palmaris. So create main.tf. And we'll copy paste on this um, variable that we've assigned. We we'll copy paste this variable code to our main.tf. So the var here specify variable that this project.id underscore id is um a variable that is assigned to this project. So let's go back to our script. So Terraform is instructed to load all, all GC library to by the provider script. So keep in mind that Terraform is an open source software and can manage a variety of settings than those found on GCP. To declare the variable, let's create another file name variable.tf. So let's create another file name variable.tf. So we, we will, then we'll copy paste this variable we created initially. So what this code actually does, so the variable script does not set the project ID value yet. It just says that a variable name project ID exists. There are some options to set um, the variable. In this exercise, we'll use a file to set um, the variable. 
to do that, create a file name terraform.tf vars. So create a file name terraform.tf vars. So go to Terraform and create this file. So terraform.tf has create this file. Then we'll now so in the file set the very the project ID variable like this. Don't forget to change the project ID from your project name to your project ID. So um, my project name, like I said initially, my project name is Kingsley um, um, Kingsley hyphen GCP data engine. So you will ha you have created your project name, so you will change it to your own project ID. So we'll copy paste this on the terraform.tf which is the project ID variable we created initially. And um, so now we'll run the following accordingly. We must run it um, step by step. So that in we must run it in this order. First, let's run the Terraform init command inside the Terraform primary food that we created. So make sure you are inside the food and not outside, run the command terraform init. So we'll run this first one, terraform, terraform init. So go to your, to your terraform, go to your GCP, this is um, the terminal. So let's let's um, cd into this folder, Terraform Palmaris. Terraform. Cd means change directory. So we, we change directory to this Terraform Palmaris. So we have we have um, seed into this Terraform primary. So let's check the list of files inside this first. So we have four file backend.tf, main.tf, Terraform TF vas, and the variable.tf. So now let's run Terraform init. Terraform init. It will in initiate Terraform in this folder. So it's initiating the back end. So it has successfully, Terraform has been successfully initiated. So the next step is to, is Terraform plan. So let's, let's um, go, to, go back to our cloud shell and type Terraform plan. So Terraform compare infrastructure, no difference one, so no change are needed. So, so let's go to the um, last step, which is Terraform apply. So this will apply all the files we've created and he will prompt you if you want to continue. So let's go to and click Terraform apply. So he said apply complete resources, zero, zero change and zero destroy. So, so he said your configuration match your infrastructure matches the configuration. So let's go to the step of creating, now creating a BigQuery data set. So let me show you my BigQuery data set. So let me type BigQuery here before we, 
before we move ahead and you know that this data set does not exist that we'll use Terraform to build this data set. So this is my um, Kingsley GCP data. You can see under it is only this machine learning data set I created initially. So let's go back to our scripts.txt. So back to our cloud ed editor, we'll go to the main main.tf file under the provider section add the following Google BigQuery dataset resources script. So we'll go back to our TF and add these lines of code. So let's go back to our our main.tf, this is our main.tf file we created initially. Let me move this. So this is our main.tf file we created initially. So now we'll delete this one. delete this one and this is our full so basically what this code 